Hello everyone, welcome back to Slug Lady Plays, and welcome back to the Blackwell Legacy. Griff is fine where he is. That's Griff. Sure. I've had him as long he's in horror. Is there anything else that I forgot about? Eh, whatever. You coming? I'll remember it later. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, yeah! That's the other place we can go. Oh, boy. Man, I hate this place! I was stuck here for 25 years! Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Joe! Shh! You wanna start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. Oh, yeah, we can ask questions later. Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in, I... Right. That's what I meant I'm to here do. to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. My favorite friggin' doctor. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in, come in. I do have to say... That pose is really awesome. I really hate this guy, but he makes poses like a friggin' fashion model. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no, I, I was just wondering. Oh, real subtle. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty. But I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. Alright, moment Dr. of truth. Dr. Quentin, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh? Oh no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Because that's what'll happen. And I'll make sure your life is is a living hell. Um... Think about it. Yes, Miss Blackwell? Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Well, that went well. Hey, Joey. What do you want, sweetheart? Oh, yeah. Okay, in the little alcove, or if we're far away, then we can ask. Uh, Joey questions, that's right. What was it like, staying here? Like? I was on a different floor, but it's all the same. Twenty-five friggin' years. Hovering over your aunt's shoulder, staring at the ceiling. You want to know how many cracks there were in that ceiling? Not really. 54! Or maybe 55. I was never sure about that last one. How well <laughs> did you know Dr. Quentin? That quack. He'd come into your aunt's room, poke her, prod her, try to get her to speak. He didn't know from nothing. I'd just as soon never see him again. What was Auntie's condition like? She was a rotting vegetable, sweetheart. They kept her so drugged up that she could hardly move. Which is probably for the best, come to think of it. Without the drugs, she... Uh wasn't pretty. But the doc told you all about that. You don't need to hear it again from me. That's all for now. Right, right. I forget. Is it dark out? I can't tell. Through the windows. Oh, well. Let's head back to the dog park. See, Joey is a crass, cynical pervert. 
But I, I do kind of feel for him because imagine 25 years being stuck in the same room with no one to talk to. Alright, let's, let's do this. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry, I'll do the talking. Okay. Hey there, remember me? No, maybe. Can you okay. tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah, I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore, but he did something to me. They'll go away. So now we have someone called the deacon. Okay, let's see here. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. Okay, we got Deacon up here now. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. But that was okay. It wasn't the Deacon's fault. It was hers. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego of Story and Song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. We've got a last name now. Okay. Can you tell me about Susan. your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. So most likely, Susan Lee is her name. Let's see Do what... you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? On a date with Alexander the Great. Was it an accident, or was it just fate? Okay, let's ask about the Can deacon. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Can you tell me the deep we can he's you now Look, just okay. sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. Okay, so that we place got is some creepy. Info. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. Okay. Let's see, anything? Besides the deacon. Okay, we got some last names. So, off to the, uh, off to the apartment again. <laughs> Can finally relax, kick back, Joey? talk to our dead spirit yeah. guide. Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow, considering what's been going on. I think I've heard okay. enough. Yeah, let's- Time to do some research. Okay. We've got some names now. Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. Yeah, I have to agree with him there. I've sold Ouija boards too, and I am not comfortable selling those. 
even if they do say made by Hasbro on them. There are so many sites about this and they all contradict each other. There's no- Oh, right. Uh, Lee is a pretty one. common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. Okay. And let's see here. Joey? Let's talk to Joey. Yes, darling. Do you know anything about Ouija boards? Those things are nothing but trouble. Do you know any- Those th I think I've heard- Yeah. Okay. I think I have to connect some things. So, Deacon and Ouija board. The girls were interested in Ouija boards. And they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? There is obviously a connection between the Deacon and these girls, but what? Okay. All right, so now we know that Bellevue, we need to go to see Susan. You coming? Yeah, sure. Ooh, ooh, dang it. Dang it, need to go back. You know, go back. Gosh darn it. Family history time. Story time with Joey Malone. Joey? Yes? Can you tell me more about Auntie Lauren? Your aunt was... She was tough. Always ready to pick a fight. Wouldn't take guff from nobody. We got on famously. So you liked her? Liked her? Hell... Sure, I liked her. She was the first person in ten years who was willing to talk to me. She didn't scream or run away. And she certainly didn't swoon like some people. Shut up. <laughs> she just looked right at me and said, Oh, that was it. That was all I needed to hear. So what happened after that? What is this, an interrogation? Cut it with the questions, kid. You're bothering me. We'll talk about this later. Alright, time to talk about Why did she hate you so much? Because I ruined her perfect little life. She had the nice house, the supportive hubby, the two kids, and then I come along. Yeah, you have a way of ruining peaceful lives. Hmm. Anything else? Nah, I'm done talking about her. Ask me again later. Okay. Is there anything else? No, that's pretty much it. I think I've heard it. Yeah, let's- Oh. Joey, let's, come here. Let's see what Joey has to say about the deacon. Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although- Any idea- No, all- Okay. Oh, I, think I didn't mean yeah, to hit that twice. Okay, let's go. You let's coming? go talk yeah, to Allie about the deacon and Ouija boards and all that. Friggin' hate Ouija boards. I really do. You don't go calling spirits into your house. No. Just a bad idea. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joe. Yeah, sure. Hey there. Remember me? No. no. Maybe. Okay. Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. It's so quiet. It, it... Sweetheart, are you listening to me? They all go away. The deacon. Made them go away. Listen, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever it is, just let go. He haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisons me. He's trying to kill me. But you're... Oh, forget it. All right, let's ask him. Did you summon something with a Ouija board? Did I? That's why I'm asking you. I hate those things. I'll never use one again. And why is that? Because... The Deacon, kid, did you get in contact with someone called the Deacon? The Deacon! I hate him so much. I knew it! Damn kids and your damn Ouija boards. Don't worry, we'll clean up this mess. Okay. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. <sighs> you all right? This is going to take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. 
That doesn't sound foreboding at all. <laughs> okay, let's check out Bellevue and see if we can, uh... See if we can see... Susan. Hold on there. I didn't mean to go there. Stop it. Is Keep Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. Thanks. Uh-huh. Okay. Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend or something close to it. Is that enough? I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... Blame the system, blame your memory, blame... Uh, blame your I memory? I gave you the wrong name. You did what? Yeah, gave the wrong name. Sorry, it's a character in a play I'm in. <laughs> That's the best you could come up with? Really? <laughs> well, what is your name? My Alex. name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. Sweet! First try. It's not like I've played the game before or anything. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's not here. They told me... They told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me, anyway. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. But I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, Susan, could you tell me what brought you here? I don't know. They think I'm crazy. Are you? Crazy, I mean. I don't know. They think so. Let's talk about... Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You... Do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Well, I wonder if Do she you know why Joanne killed side. herself? Yes. The deacon. He got in our heads. His voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. Just keeps going. I just wanted quiet. Peace and quiet. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet. Even her life. Was Kelly involved in any of this? Kelly? Joanne's roommate? Yeah. No. She always left when we came over. She didn't like us much. But that's okay. We didn't like her either. Can you tell me anything about Alex? Alex? was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, 
he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. And now she can't. She... she was the first of us to go. Why is that? How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? No. We've already established this. So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. I saw the speeding taxi and I just... Well, you know, here I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. I can't even kill myself right. So, Allie Like Dogs has been added to our journal I have to now. go now, Susan. But I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's let us head out. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. Okay. I'm trying to remember if I'm remembering this correctly, Whoa, but... hold on there. You oh my gosh. I literally just came back. I'd like to see Susan... Go right in. Think you have to go directly back in? Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just... These drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low, and that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well. I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please? Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks so much. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Fine. That's all? Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. I have to go, but I'll come. Okay. So, I guess what you're supposed to do is, like, go look around, talk to Allie, explore, talk to Joey a bit, and then go back, but, yeah, it's just faster that way. <laughs> also, I love this song. Alright, um, Washington Square Park. Actually, no, we, there's, we can't do anything yet, but there's something else we can do. But I will leave that for next time. I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye!